<coughs> Hello everybody. This video is about to import data into R. We will deal we'll be dealing with mainly three types of data for now. So the first one is the text files and the, to do that we write the read.table function you have also the comma separated values file to read we read uh, we write read.csv and the excel files read.excel so let's start with uh, the first one reading uh, text files into r so we need first to give uh, a name to our data my data for instance read dot table and we open the parentheses open also the codes and here in my case I put all my data in this folder import that's in this directory spring 2018 data analysis and the import that's on my computer so you have the option to write the directory here but mine is so long I prefer to go uh, copy and paste to not make some mistakes and save time and uh, those are the data files I have here data one that's uh, the text file data one here is a comma separated value this one is Excel data two is Excel homework one is a comma separated value and the univariate is also comma separated value so you are going to deal with those uh, data files so let me copy the directory bring it here into my R code and paste it here and uh, you see here we have the backslash either we change into slash or we double the backslash we will learn how to do that in the two ways so have this I double here double here double this one double this one double this one if you don't do that we will be uh, we will receive an error message so repeat here also no sorry double and we will write the name of our data dot txt the extension is important to not forget that so you run it's okay error message so to see the container of, of, of our data, write the name, you call it. So my data, and we run it. This is what we get. Here, we have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. But those are by default. We do, do we need them? I don't think we need them. This is what I need. So the headers here, time, evapotranspirator, humid, specific humidity, surface runoff, and air temperature, those I need. So to get rid of those, need to put here in my code header equal to and now when we call my data we'll see that the v1 v2 and the v3 v4 5 uh, are not there anymore compared to the first one and uh, if you like to put the separator, you can also put them here. Sep in this case, sorry. Equal rotation, and you put uh, the backslash. Depending on the content of your data. So for now I'm going to remove it, just keep what is necessary for our lab, sorry, it's going on here. Okay, good now, in my data, okay. So the second type of uh, file 
would like to read is the CSV. Comma separated values. To read the comma separated values, let's say this time my data two equal read dot this time comma separated value and the the parentheses plus the quotation input our directory again this time let's change change the backslash into slash because let let me put that way and you see when you run this way you have uh, data one comma separated value Here you will receive an error message okay So you have to change either you double the backslash or you change it to slash. We did the first by doubling the backslash. Now we change into slash. And we run now it's fine so we call my data to to see the content we have time et specific humidity runoff and air temperature if we don't like we see here the characters n a n a n a if you don't want to see them because of course, if they are there, they are going to complicate our manipulation when we would like to process some information because of the presence of the NAs here, we will not be able to continue our work. So we need to remove them. To remove them, let's say, write this code, my data to equal na.permit uh, my data to. And now we call our our new my data tool, and you see the NAs are not here anymore. You see half here NAs 32, 33, the row 32 and 33 are not here anymore, and that would it will help us to continue processing our data without problem. And uh, the last type of uh, files we, we are dealing with uh, for in, in this lab is the excel files to read the excel files we need uh, to install some packages and they call the libraries so the first we need to do is install dot packages and we have xlsx but this one requires also to install R Java and uh, excel jars otherwise you will have error messages telling us that uh, there is a requirement before that so let's deal with that once at all so the first is install the packages R Java. The second is install packages XL jars. I already installed them, but you need to install them before starting your work and once you install the packages you again need to call the libraries so library xl sx library r java and the library XL jars. 
So I don't want to run to install again to, to, to take time, so I'm going to just run the libraries. That's okay, no error message, so let's continue. So now my data say three equal read dot xlsx same thing we need the directory import we double our backslash And the data here is uh, data two in Excel. Data two Excel SX in case of uh, Excel we need to specify the sheet by default. We have our data here in sheet one. This is sheet one or one. When we write sheet one or one, it's going to give us the same thing. So you write one like this, and we run it. And we call my data three. Sorry. This is the content of our data, my data three. The other way to do it is instead of writing one just copy paste it here the directory you write the sheet name so for instance sheet name equal code we have here sheet name sheet one in this case, it's data one, it's also Excel, and you have sheet, the name of the sheet is data one. So you may have several sheets here, but you would like just to read one of them. So you call the Excel file, but the name of the sheet you would like to read. That's what it means here. So you need data one. It's here by default, you have just one. That's why it took one. But if you have several times, you have, uh, you have several sheets, you have the choice to make. Okay. So our sheet name is sheet one. Sheet name equal sheet one. Okay. And then we run it. And this is the content. So if you like we will change in data one instead of data two. So they are all in the same directory. So data one, no, it's not this. Oh, data one, yes, of course. And the sheet name equal data one. It's here. I have data one here. The sheet name is data one. This is also Excel file. And we run it and we call our data tree uh, my data tree sorry to see the content so thank you for watching and uh, this is how we import those three types of data text files comma separated values files and the excel files thank you for watching and see you in class soon bye